DeepSeeker One is one of the most powerful and popular AI models available today. But using its official website or app comes with a few privacy concerns. Your data is being stored on servers located in China. In this video, I will show you different ways to escape these privacy issues and use DeepSeeker One safely. First, let's take a look at the official DeepSeek website. To get started, you will need to create an account. Click Start Now and follow the easy sign-up process. I recommend using an email and a password instead of connecting it directly to your Google account. Also be aware that you'll need to use your personal email instead of a business one, otherwise your sign-up might get rejected. Once you're in, the first thing you'll want to do is turn on DeepThink R1. This way you'll be using the advanced reasoning model instead of the default V3 model. Now let's try a prompt. I will ask it to solve this problem right here. And one very interesting thing about DeepSeek R1 is that it actually shows you its chain of thought. So you can actually watch it think and get to read through it. It's really interesting. You can check here for my other DeepSeek Explainer video where I'm giving it different tasks and comparing it to ChatGPT 3 It's pretty cool. You'll see its reasoning process laid out step by step and then the answer. This model uses reinforcement learning, which means that if it makes a mistake, it will catch the mistake and then learn from itself before giving you the answer. So using DeepSeek directly on their website or phone app is straightforward, but here's where it gets tricky. DeepSeek's privacy policy states that your data is stored on servers in China. They collect extensive user data, including keystroke patterns and IP addresses. There's no way of opting out of DeepSeek using your data to train its models, unlike in OpenAI's website. This raises understandable concerns about data security and who has access to your information. So how can you use DeepSeek R1 without sending your data to DeepSeek servers? One of the easiest ways is to use third-party platforms that have already integrated the models. They act as intermediaries, allowing you to access DeepSeek AI powers without your data going directly to DeepSeek servers. Perplexity is a search engine that has integrated DeepSeek R1 into their search capabilities. As a standalone tool, Perplexity is an AI-powered search engine that uses large language models to deliver concise answers along with sources from the web that you can check. This means that you can use R1 for reasoning tasks while also searching the web for up-to-date information. To use DeepSeek R1 on Perplexity, you'll need to turn on the Pro option and then choose Reasoning with R1. Perplexity does offer a free tier, which gives you a few searches per day, but you will need the paid version to use it extensively. The benefit of using these third-party platforms is that they are convenient and easy to use. Plus, your data stays on US-based servers, which may give you more peace of mind. A growing number of platforms are integrating DeepSeek's model because they are cheap. Examples are Cursor and Together AI. Some may also find it easier to access DeepSeek R1 through these platforms than setting up a local installation. However, if you want complete control over your data and maximum privacy, one of the best options is to run DeepSeek locally on your computer. This means your data never leaves your device and you don't have to worry about it being stored on external servers. One of the easiest ways is to use LM Studio. It is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Simply go to lmstudio.ai and download the version for your operating system. I'll be doing it for Mac since that's what I have. So that literally took five seconds to download. Now I'm just gonna drag this into my applications folder and now just search for LM Studio on my computer and hit enter. Once you have installed LM Studio, open it up and go to the Discover tab. Type in DeepSeek R1 into the search bar. You will see a number of different models available here, each with different sizes and different levels of distillation. Distillation is like taking a big complicated book and creating a concise study guide that still captures the main points, making it faster and easier to use while keeping most of the important information. The parameter size determines how much hardware you need to run the model. The full DeepSeek R1 model has 671 parameters, which requires serious hardware. But the distilled version can run on regular computers. LM Studio will actually show you if your GPU can handle each model. And you might want to start with a smaller model and experiment to see which one fits best for you. Once you have chosen a model, click the download button. After the download is complete, go to the AI chat tab and load your model. Now you can chat with DeepSeek R1 locally without an internet connection. The data stays on your device without connecting to any cloud server. 
You'll notice that the responses might be a bit slower than using the online version, especially with smaller models, but that is a small price to pay for complete privacy. For those who prefer a command line interface, Olama is another excellent tool for running open source models like DeepSeek R1. Olama is fast, simple to use, and gives you a lot of control. To get started with Olama, go to olama.com or olama.ai and download the version for your operating system. For this example, I will be using the 1.5b. The process is straightforward and Olama supports Mac, Linux, and Windows. Once you have installed Olama, open your terminal or command prompt. To download a DeepSeek R1 model, I will use the olama run command followed by the name of the model, which I copied from here. For example, to download and run the default DeepSeek R1 model, you would type olama run deepseek r one colon 1.5b and press enter. Olama then will download the model and start the chat interface in your terminal. You can now interact with DeepSeek R1 directly from your command line, typing your prompts and receiving responses. We can see again the thinking process is displayed within think tags. As Olama is primarily a command line tool, it might not be for everyone, but it does offer a very streamlined and efficient way to run AI models. So to wrap things up, we have explored a few ways to use DeepSeek R1 while bypassing the privacy issues associated with their official website. You can use third-party platforms like Perplexity to access DeepSeek's models online. This is often the easiest way to bypass the privacy issues, or you can take full control and run DeepSeek R1 locally using tools like LM Studio or Olama. The local installation is often the safer bet because it gives you the ultimate privacy. Ultimately, the best approach depends on your individual needs and technical skills. There is no right or wrong answers. Experiment and find out what works best for you. Now it is your turn. Experiment with DeepSeek R1 and share your experience in the comments below. Thank you for watching.